Lesson nine, I will solve problems involving mixed units of time. We are going to continue the same strategy that we've been using for the last couple of lessons. Only today we're going to talk about mixed units of time. So you can expect to talk about, to talk about days and hours. All right, we're going to go right straight to our problem set because this is pretty much what we've been already been doing. So first of all, we're going to start right here with problem A, and we're going to add 23 to 37. Well, if I add the 7 first, that gives me 30 plus 30, which is 60. So that gives me 60 minutes. Well, how many minutes are in an hour? Well, that would be 60, of course. So 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. All right, so let's take a look at B. So now we have 1 hour and 11 minutes plus 49 minutes. Well, I normally would add hours to hours, but there's no hours to add here. So it's still going to be 1 hour. And then I'm going to add minutes to minutes, 11 plus 49. Well, if I add this 1 to 49, that makes this 50. And then I add the 10, that makes it 60. So I've got 1 hour, 60 minutes. Well, 60 minutes is the same as 1 hour. So in total, I have 2 hours. All right, now let's do a little bit of subtraction. So in order for me to take away 12 minutes away from an hour, can you remember what we've been doing the last few problems or the last few lessons? Well, we've been decomposing, right? So if I decompose one hour into 60 minutes, now I can subtract 60 minutes minus 12 minutes. How many minutes would I have left? Well, if I take away 10, that's going to leave me 50. And if I take away two more, that leaves me with 48 minutes. Okay, so let's take a look at D. So D is very similar to C. The only difference is instead of one hour, I've got four hours. So I don't need to decompose all of these hours. I can decompose this into three hours, and I'm going to leave those three hours alone. Okay, so I'm just going to put those right over here. I have three hours. I'm not going to do anything to those. But the other hour that makes up the four hours, I'm going to decompose into 60 minutes. And then I'm going to subtract... 12 minutes from those 60 minutes. Well, if I take away 10, well, I've already done that over here, right? 60 minus 12 equals 48 minutes. So you can see it's the same exact problem. The only difference is, is there's three more hours here, but I didn't do anything with these three hours. I just decomposed it and I never touched it again. All right, so now we're going from seconds to minutes this time. So let's go ahead and add together. So if I go ahead and add the 8 first to 22, that gives me 30. So then I have 30 and 30, which gives me 60 seconds. Well, how many seconds are in a minute? Well, 60, of course. So 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. So I want you to try F all by yourself. I want you to notice, first of all, that F is almost exactly like D. The only difference is instead of this being hours and minutes, it's minutes and seconds. But we already know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, and there's 60 seconds in a minute. So think about how you could decompose these minutes to be able to subtract, and then come back and we'll check together. Okay, so hopefully you did part of this problem by yourself. I would begin by decomposing this 3 minutes into 2 minutes and 60 seconds. Because I'm only subtracting seconds, nothing's going to happen to those two minutes. So I can just go ahead and put them right over here. Now I'm going to take away 45 seconds from 60 seconds. Well, if I take away t um, 40, that's going to leave 20. And then if I take away five more, that's going to leave 15. So that leaves me with two minutes and 15 seconds. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now we're going to find the following sums and differences, and we're going to show our work. So we're going to continue the same thing. We're just going to have a little bit more of mixed numbers here. You can see that we have 3 hours and 25 minutes. This is pretty much what we've already done, but you're going to see pretty quickly we're going to go from hours and minutes plus hours and minutes. All right, so A is basically what we already did, except this time we're going to end up with a few more minutes. So I have no more hours, so I'm just going to have 3 hours here. 45 minutes plus 25 minutes. Well, if I add 20, that's going to give me 65. And if I add five more, that gives me 70. So I have three hours, 70 minutes. Well, I know that there's only 60 minutes in an hour. So I can decompose this into 60 minutes and 10 minutes. Now, this 60 minutes is the same as an hour. So that gives me three hours plus one, which gives me four hours. And then I have 10 minutes left over. All right, so let's do one more together. 
So let's add hours to hours, so that gives me eight hours. And then let's add minutes to minutes. Now you'll notice this is 45 minutes and 25 minutes like we did over here. So that gives me 70 minutes. And I'm going to decompose this exactly like I did in A. This is going to be 60 minutes because that's how many minutes are in an hour. And then I'm going to have 10 minutes left over. So again, I'm going to take these 8 hours and add it to this hour, and that gives me 9 hours and 10 minutes left over. All right, so now we're going to move to some subtraction. Okay, so this time I'm going to take away 42 minutes but I only have seven minutes here. I do have three hours, but I can't just take minutes for minutes because I don't have enough. So I'm gonna to have to decompose. So I'm gonna take one hour out. That's gonna leave two hours. And I'm not gonna do anything to this hour, these two hours. They're basically just gonna to be to the side in my answer. Now I've got another hour here. I'm gonna take that hour and I'm gonna decompose it into 60 minutes, but I have to add these seven minutes to it. So 60 minutes plus 7 gives me 67 minutes. Then I can go ahead and subtract 42 minutes. Okay. If I take 40 minutes away from 67, that leaves 27. And then if I take away two more, that leaves 25. So I've got 2 hours, 25 minutes. Okay. Now this problem is exactly like C, except... In this problem, it was hours and minutes minus minutes. This time it's hours and minutes minus hours and minutes. So I'm going to begin by subtracting hours from hours. And I'm going to be left with three hours. And then I'm going to have seven minutes minus 13 minutes. So I'm going to decompose these hours into two hours. And then the other hour, I'm going to decompose into minutes. Now, nothing's going to happen to these two hours. I'm not going to take anything else away, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here in my answer. Now, the other hour, I'm going to decompose into 60 minutes, and I'm going to add to this 7 minutes. It's just like we had over here in problem C. So now I have 67 minutes minus 13 minutes. Well, if I take away the 10, that leaves 57. And then when I take away 3 more, that leaves 54 minutes. Okay? All right, so let's see if you can't do E and F by yourself. There's an example of both of these problems up here. The only difference is instead of this being hours and minutes, it's minutes and seconds. But because there's 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute, it's almost exactly the same. You're just changing your units. So go ahead and try to do E and F by yourself, and then let's come back and check together. Okay, so let's take a look at problem E. Hopefully you chose to do this one by yourself. I went ahead and I didn't have any minutes here. All I had were minutes and seconds, but I'm having more minutes to add, so the five minutes stayed the same. I added seconds to seconds, which gave me 67 seconds, and then I just decomposed the 67 seconds into 60 seconds, which equals a minute, and what was left over, which was seven seconds. So five minutes plus one minute gave me six minutes, and then I had seven seconds left over. All right, so let's take a look at problem F. So this time I had minutes and seconds minus minutes and seconds. So I went ahead and subtracted five minutes from 22 minutes, and that gave me 17 minutes. So I had 17 minutes and 48 seconds minus 58 seconds. Well, I couldn't take 58 seconds away from 48 seconds, so I had to decompose this 17 minutes into 16 minutes and 60 seconds. So I added the 60 seconds to the 48 seconds, and that gave me 108, and then I just subtracted. So I was left with 16 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, so let's try an application problem. At the cup stacking competition, the first place finishing time was 1 minute 5, 52 seconds. That was 31 seconds faster than the second place finisher. What was the second place time? Well, can we draw something to represent this problem? Is this a totaling problem or are we comparing? Well, I'm seeing a comparison word. I'm hearing it say that it was 31 seconds faster. So we've got first place and we've got second place. Well, obviously first place is going to have the fastest time, so it's going to have the smallest tape diagram. And second place is going to have the biggest one, 
because it took longer. That's why they were in second place. So we know that first place was 1 minute 52 seconds. And we know that second place was 31 seconds slower, or first place was 31 seconds faster. So we know that we've got 31 seconds more in second place than we do in first place. And we're trying to figure out this. So what would our number sentence look like? If I know that second place is 31 seconds more than first place, what would I do to these two numbers? I would add, right? I would add one minute, this is my number sentence, 52 seconds plus 31 seconds. So I'm going to have one minute, oops, 52 and 31 would be 83 seconds. So I decompose this into enough seconds to make a minute, which is 60. And then what's left over, which is 23 seconds. And that's going to give me two minutes. Because I'm going to take these and add them together. And 23 seconds. So now I'm ready to answer the question. What was the second place time? The second place time... was 2 minutes 23 seconds. All right, let's take a look at number four. Jacqueline and Rachel have five hours to watch three movies that last one hour, 22 minutes, two hours, 12 minutes, and 50, one hour, 57 minutes respectively. Respectively just means that each of these goes with the minute goes with the movie okay so we've got one movie that's this long one movie that's this long and then the last movie is this long do the girls have enough time to watch all three movies so is this a comparison problem or is this a total problem I believe this is a total problem so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my tape down. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it a little big because hours and minutes kind of take up a lot of room to write so I've got three different movies so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to divide this into three parts. I'm trying to figure out, do they have enough time? It says here that they have five hours. So I've got to figure out how long it is to watch all of these movies. So we've got one hour, 22 minutes, two hours, 12 minutes, one hour, 57 minutes. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out how much this is all together. All right, so let's start by adding all the hours. I've got one hour, two hours, and another hour. So that's going to be four hours. All right, so now let's add minutes. 22 plus 12 gives me 34. So now I've got 57 plus 34. So let's go ahead and add those together. And that gives me 91. So I've got four hours, 91 minutes. So let's decompose this into hours and what's left over. So that would be 60 minutes and 31 minutes. So five hours plus this hour, excuse me, four hours plus this hour gives me five hours and then 31 minutes. So do the girls have enough time to watch all three movies? Well if it takes five hours and 31 minutes to watch all three movies and they've only got five hours, no, they do not have enough time. Now it says explain why or why not. No, because the movies would last five hours, 31 minutes. They've only got five hours, okay? All right, let's take a look at B. If Jacqueline and Rachel decide to watch only the two longest movies and take a 30 minute break in between, how much of their five hours will they have left over? So does this sound like a comparison? Did you hear any comparison? I did hear the word longest, but I don't think it was comparison, except that that's just gonna help us to pick which two movies. I'm hearing another total problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another tape diagram and they're, they're actually going to watch two movies and take a 30 minute break. So I'm gonna do this, movie break, 
movie. So I'm going to put 30 minutes right here. Now I've got to pick the two longest movies. Well, I know that this movie is going to be the longest because it's two hours and 12 minutes, and the others are only one hour. And then which of the other two would be the longest? Well, one hour and 57 minutes, right? All right, so we want to know how long this would last. And in that way, we can figure out how much time would they have left over from their five hours. So first, we're going to have to add all this together. So we've got two hours... 12 minutes plus 30 minutes plus 1 hour 57 minutes. Okay, so let's add hours to hours. So 2 hours plus 1 hour gives me 3 hours. And then I've got 12 minutes plus 30 minutes, which gives me 42 minutes. And then I've got to take 57 and add that to 42 which gives me 99 minutes. So I've got three hours, 99 minutes. So I need to take this 99 minutes and decompose it into hours and minutes. So 60 minutes is an hour, and then I would have 39 minutes left over. So that gives me a total of four hours, because I'm taking this hour and adding it to three hours, and 39 minutes. So they want to know how much time would they have left over. So this, I could subtract, right? I could decompose the five hours, which would be a strategy that we certainly could use. What if I use the arrow method? What if I said, okay, I've got four hours, 39 minutes, and I want to know how much it would take me to get to five hours. How many minutes would I have to add to get to five hours? Well, if I added 30, that would be too much. If I added 20, that would give me 59. So I think I'm going to add 21 minutes. Because if I add 21 minutes, that gives me 4 hours and 60 minutes, which is the same thing as 5 hours. So this will be my answer. How much time would they have left over? They would have... ...21 minutes left over. Okay, so again today, we have been solving problems with mixed units of time. It's very similar to what we've been doing in the last three problems.